Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of November 7th, uh, 2022. Hope you guys are doing well. Please remember that these are general readings and some things may resonate with you while other things may not. Um, take what, you know, resonates for you. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Okay. This is a week of total victory for you guys. It is a week of getting what you want. A Virgo and or a Taurus or Capricorn may resonate. So definitely a lot of earth sign. Earth sign strong here. There is a generalized caution for you guys to slow down. That's uh, in a vehicle, at work, at home, whatever you're doing. And um, the thing about it is a week of getting what you want in total victory. But it comes in a form that you're not expecting. Okay, so Aquarius, your first card up, we have the King of Cups. Could be a Cancer energy that resonates with you. This is a large, strong offer of love. We have the Knight of Cups coming in with another offer of love. Looks like we got a love reading going on here for my Aquarius. So definitely if you're single, you've got more than one option. Ten of Swords shows that you're surrounded by healing energy. Now, for some of you, it could be physically, but for most of you, I think it's emotionally that you're healing where someone has done you wrong. Um, someone wants to take you to dinner, too. I want to throw that out there. Strength is on your side, no matter what you do. Okay? Center of your reading bonus card, you have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups, this is... um. How do you say, this is your union, your gathering, your, your date night, okay? Definitely under that unexpected offer of love. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles coming in with money in addition to. This is something in addition to your regular pay. So this could be a bonus check, a commission check, the sale of something. But definitely something in addition to. And we have the King of Wands, Aries here. This is you taking authority. This is you being true to yourself and saying, you know what? I've done A, B, and C, and now we're going to do X, Y, and Z. So now we have the Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with a Virgo energy. Like I said, you've got all the Earth signs here. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. With that, we have the Knight of Wands. There's movement on the home front for you guys. Someone moving in, someone moving out. If there's absolutely no movement, then we're looking at some kind of heavy renovations for you guys. So Aquarius, let's go further with these messages. And again, this is your week of November 7th, 2022. All right, Aquarius, we have the Six of Swords. You guys are definitely moving out of the troubled waters and into the calm. There's a big sigh of relief is what I'm seeing here for you guys. Okay. On that unexpected offer of love, we have the High Priestess. It's about divine timing. This shows that you're grounded and centered, but it also shows that you're very intuitive. So you need to dig down deep, trust your intuition, and trust where you're being led. On that Ten of Swords, you have the Devil card energy. Definitely healing from someone that has done you wrong, but also some intensity and in, in the love life with someone new. Obviously, this is applying to the singles out there. Um, and to the couples, if it's something new in love, it could, you know, represent the love of family and or friends. Uh, on the Strength card, we have the Queen of Swords. Again, twice this Virgo energy has appeared. I cannot stress enough to you guys. You're definitely dealing with an Earth sign energy. On the Two of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups, that unexpected offer of love that's leading to date night. It's here twice. I'm swearing to you, it's dinner. It's dinner. It's a dinner date. I know it is. I know it is. Be sure to hit me up in the comments section. On the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Wands. Fire energy, Leo. This is someone that is grounded and centered. Someone that's coming in. Is someone that you may speak to for advice. Okay? Someone that you may approach for advice for whatever reason. I am seeing a Cocker Spaniel specifically. Okay, so whether you have that dog or that person has that dog, someone is going to give you some valuable advice. On the King of Wands, I have the Seven of Pentacles. Working and gaining. Um, not only are you working and gaining, you are 
planting the seed, watching it grow. Some of you looking at raises and or promotions on that first Queen of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords. Whatever this Earth energy is, this, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is causing you a loss of sleep. Okay, stop overthinking things. On the Knight of Wands is the Chariot. So this move is going to come rushing in. Full throttle and totally unexpected. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Just want to throw it out there. All right, Aquarius, let's give you a bonus card for, the, for your week, for the center of your reading. Aquarius, you have the Four Swords. You are under that energy of the calm before the storm. Asking you to get the rest that you need while you can. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget JackieTomlin.com for personal reads. You have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.